forces acting in opposite directions. In general, whenever forces act on an object in opposite directions, like the book on the table, the net force is equal to the difference between the two forces. In other words, one force is subtracted from the other to calculate the net force. If the opposing forces are equal or balanced, the net force is zero, as it was for the book. That's why the book doesn't fall to the ground, but instead remains resting on the table. However, if the opposing forces are unbalanced, the net force is greater than zero, although it will be less than either of the individual forces. In this case, the object will move in the same direction as the net force. Look at the dogs playing tug of war in the figure below. The dogs are pulling the rope in opposite directions, but one dog is pulling with more force than the other. This dog is pulling with 10 newtons. Bigger dog pulling to the right with 12 newtons. The net force acting on the rope is two newtons to the right, so the rope will move to the right. 10, 12. 12 newtons subtract 10 newtons equals 2 to the right. That's why this dog will win. Question. The boys in the figure below are about to kick the soccer ball in opposite directions. What will be the net force on the ball? In which direction will the ball move? Answer. The net force on the ball will be 50 newtons to the left. 125 newtons subtracted by 75 newtons. 50 newtons left over. So the ball will move to the left, 50 newtons.